my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the sprouts like the, I taught you the other day and we're going to be making a shepherd's pie. Let's begin. Okay, so here I have my spice mix. I use this for everything and you can tell that I don't add salt. You'll see why later. And so here I added some of that um, the spice mix, three cloves of garlic and just a trace of, of oil. I don't like using too much oil just a tiny little bit so you know just to get some but if if you don't want to use oil it's fine you can use just a little bit of water so i added uh here red pepper just a quarter of a medium red pepper chopped and celery uh, and a small carrot you can shred it you can cut it up to you if this is how i like it you can cut it in cubes if you want it's up to you but um i like it this way as you can tell, I haven't used onions, it's because I didn't have any at home, so uh, with that spice mix it has um, uh, powder, uh, onion powder, so it kind of has that flavor. So we're just going to be mixing this, um, just to make sure they're well cooked. We are going to be cover it, we, we, we just cover it for like a little bit until it looks like everything is cooked, just like that, and you see the drizzle, and the idea is not for them to burn. So I'm cooking it at like medium low heat and this is pretty much it for um, the veggies. Oh sorry I forgot the mushrooms, yes. I'm going to be adding four chopped mushrooms, five sorry, five chopped mushrooms and um, since I didn't have salt on the spice mix I will be adding this right now. So I use around like half. A teaspoon or one it just depends it's, it's up to you is how you like your your food to be more in the salty side or less I try to eat with less salt so that's how I do it well and we will be adding more once we get uh, the other ingredients and so we just mix it just like that we want the mushrooms to be cooked and so we're gonna be adding first I show the the lentils but first I wanted to show you this is the soy meat and on the uh, description box I will leave you how to make it this is optional you don't have to use it some people are allergic to soy so if you don't if you don't want to use it you can use two cups of uh, sprouted lentils instead of this uh, soy meat and now we're gonna be adding here I'm gonna be adding uh, half half a cup of the sprouted lentils look how beautiful they look and um, you just mix it and then I realized I wanted more of the lentils so here I'm letting you know I actually use one whole cup because I add one more see and that's what we're going to be using it and we're just gonna be cooking this the same way we did with the veggies um, the lentils are made pr fairly easy so and fast so we're just gonna cook it cover it and just you know it's around five minutes we just mix it we don't want it to burn or to stick to the pan and we just try it see if it needs anything uh, here I realized uh, it, we could have a little bit of more spices so I added just you know just a little bit to give it more flavor and I'm gonna be adding a little bit of more salt I use Himalayan salt you can use whatever you want and so we're just gonna be mixing it again and it's pretty much done it's just this this was super simple it's just like that and this will be our vegan meat this is what we're gonna be using for the filling of the shepherd's pie so I had already made um, mashed potato from the day before so I put it in an oven Pan so we can you know cook it there I did put a little bit of oil around it so it won't stick this uh, I will be using like three quarters of whatever I made to make this uh, this amount of a shepherd's pie and in this with this we have we actually get six pieces which is we are three people at home so for us it's like the perfect measurement and the rest that's what was left and the rest of the mashed potatoes will go on top just like that it is super simple if you have like mashed potato you can use the mashed potatoes like the box one and that's like that's easier 
because you know what you're adding right like make sure that it doesn't have milk some of them have milk and that's it and this is a trick from my grandma she put parmesan cheese on top and it looks beautiful where I already pre-cooked my oven it's a uh, 350 Fahrenheit and we're just you can cover it but mine uh, my oven can cook under and on top so we're gonna be cooking it for around 10 to 15 minutes it's until it's you know um, a golden brown on top as you will see in the next picture and once it is all done just like that look how beautiful that looks we can just serve it and I served it with salads and it was delicious Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for coming to my channel and please, please don't forget to make your sprouts. They're really, really good for you. And if you like the recipe, please let me know on uh, your on the comment section and please leave me your comments because I love hearing if you did the recipe or if you have any questions. And that is all for today and I will see you in the next video. Bye!